Hi, I'm Dr. Ling Tiong, consultant pediatrician at Sunway Specialty Centre, Damansara. Uh, today we will be talking about vomiting in kids. Uh, we do see it common and in fact vomiting alone without any other symptom uh, is rare but usually vomiting with diarrhea is the most common presentation that we see. Uh, so vomiting and diarrhea as we probably know anyway does occur with food poisoning, um, gastroenteritis or if they've eaten something that's contaminated. Other kind of causes for vomiting would mean that it could be vomiting alone with other symptoms. So if it was vomiting alone without any symptom at all, that needs quite urgent uh, and immediate attention and assessment by a doctor. Normally vomiting in kids, if it was just vomiting with a fever, we would be worried about uh, some more serious conditions such as meningitis or infection of the lining of the brain. Um, there are some other conditions where you could be vomiting after you've had a fall or head injury and that actually can be serious and needs an urgent attention because if there was any damage or injury and as well as trauma to the brain itself that can actually lead to vomiting. Next up, if there was vomiting with tummy aches, that can actually mean a whole lot of different reasons but uh, one of the most common ones would be if there was vomiting, tummy pain, um, and fever, acute appendicitis. The main thing to watch out for vomiting is a vomit that is green in colour or has changed into a bright yellow colour. Um, if, if there were any changes to the vomit colour, including if there was green, bright yellow or red, um, that you would need to see a doctor immediately as well. Um, most of the time, this actually does mean that there may be some obstruction in their gut um, and you know, we would need urgent uh, review and assessment of the child. Uh, vomiting on its own in kids, usually it does go away within a couple of hours or within the day. Um, so most of the time, no medications are needed, but there are some certain circumstances where anti-vomiting medications can help to relieve their symptom and thus hasten their recovery as well. The mainstay of how we would manage vomiting is to offer them small but more frequent fluids or feed that could come in various sources. So you may be offering them water, milk, uh, barley water, porridge, rice water, or even certain things like oral rehydration salt. If all else fails, you could also use diluted apple juice um, or maybe even some water mixed in with like some honey. But most of the time, the main thing to avoid is having dehydration in kids because if they are refusing all fluids, if they are persistently vomiting for say more than six hours, especially in young kids uh, less than six months old, um, if they have reduced number of wet nappies or wheeze, if they are looking more tired, listless, or if they develop diarrhea and they're losing more fluids that way, um, or even if they have fever, that would mean that there is a risk of dehydration and they may need to be admitted to the hospital. If they are able to cope and manage and they are able to keep their fluids down, uh, we would continue managing this at home uh, with close monitoring by your doctor, um, especially if you were seeing a pediatrician. Check in with them, especially within the first two days of their vomiting illness to ensure that it's not anything else that could be serious. Um, last but not least, uh, vomiting alone is not something that you do need to seek uh, medical attention immediately. The key point is if there were any changes to your vomit, so the colour of your vomit, if there were large in amounts, if there were green, uh, bright yellow or red vomits, um, if your child develops tummy aches with fevers or even a rash, um, you do need to seek immediate medical attention. That's it. Thank you.